Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'll go ahead and get my um, June update over with. So I'm gonna do this real quick while I got some time. Uh, can't be too noisy. Got my son sleeping, and let's, I'm gonna I'm gonna give this update the hard, do it the hard way. So I already have them in ABC order, and I just didn't feel like taking them down. So uh, first up, starting with the A section. Nothing in numbers this time. I got um, a movie I've been curious about for the longest is Alien from the Deep. Um, supposedly it's it's coming from was that one seven movies. I don't know if they've really put anything else out recently. I think they get about three or four titles out, but this is the only one that interested me so far. Um, it's kind of like a half action adventure slash mutant chasing people in the jungle kind of movie. I don't know, like half action adventure, half sci-fi, half horror, I guess. So that's Alien from the Deep. Um, coming on down is... Next up is... And I almost fell down. That's not good. Is uh, the Awakening, uh, released by Warner Archives uh, series. Uh, it's probably my second time buying this movie. I love the fact that it uses the original cover art, but yeah, it's the made made on demand um, release. So I had to get that again. This is a pretty cool movie. Uh, another mummy movie. So that's the Awakening uh, coming on down again. finally saw this movie for the first time. I know, I'm always late to the party, but uh, it's behind the mask. Um, I didn't realize this was going to be such a um, comedy horror. Like, it's like, it's really, yeah, just like a horror comedy. Um, pretty cool flick. I like it. I have to say it is pretty original. Um, I had, it had me laughing in parts. I thought it was pretty cool, um, especially with him finally findings i forget what you call it where he's finally had he finally has somebody that represents good and all that's pure that's going to be able to chase him down and kill him uh, but i thought that was hilarious so uh yeah behind the mask pretty cool flick i like it I, I'd, I'd recommend that one um next up is a uh, blu-ray release uh, was it freak show i don't remember I just know they're not popular with the Blu-rays. <laughs> anyway, that's Beyond the Darkness. It comes with DVD as well. And I still have my uh, Shriek Show DVD up there. I just I just display it with this reversible cover art now that I have the other one. That's what I'm dealing with. That's what I'm dealing with some of the DVDs I already have. If, if, if that's what, you know, if they offer that reversible cover art, I'll keep the DVD in. Uh, display the other but yeah beyond the darkness you have to forgive me I just ate so I'm kind of short of breath next up is finally guys an old anchor bay release um the black cat I haven't I haven't well I've never seen it I haven't watched it yet but I hear it's not one of uh, Fulci's um popular movies but I think it'd be cool I mean about her a guy that controls a cat to where, you know, cat's killing people. I mean, it sounds like a good story. I just, I don't know. Hopefully it's good. Um, come on down again. Is more in the B section. Um, I got this on Amazon. It's uh, one of the many um, bootlegs that's offered on Amazon. Um, here in the states uh, as a cinema center cinema classics um desert island films production or something like that it's blood and lace another movie i've been curious about um, let me see if i can let me see if i can there we go that's better yeah blood and lace and not to be confused with blood and black lace this is like a, a movie that was put out later on i think in the 70s but people have been telling me it's pretty good so 
I don't know. I'm I'm happy with this DVD-R for now. So until like a a better better one gets released. So I'm playing Leech. Next is Blood Beach. I'm finally happy to get this one from Jam Entertainment, which I've never heard of, but uh, it's import uh, German German import. But it does have reversible reversible cover art. But it's the same thing, really. So I thought that was kind of weird. It just has the 16 rating um, logo right here, which I didn't really like that, so I, I reversed the cover art. But anyway, glad to finally have a legit copy of Blood Beach. Uh, next up, I got a lot of Blood titles this time. Uh, Blood Castle. This one looked. This one interested me as well. Um, I don't know if this has any other releases. I think there's another DVD. Some other company put out Blood Castle as well with different cover art, but uh, I just think that's pretty cool. Um, I haven't had time to watch this one, watch this one yet. But Blood Castle, um, finally got Blood Creek. A friend, like a few friends, talked me into, talked me into finally checking this out. So Blood Creek, it's a Nazi type demon or whatever. So Blood Creek. Uh, next is. Blood Freak, another one that's been on my wish list for a while, a long time. Um, don't have too many something weird, something weird releases on left on my wish list to get, but this is another one I'm finally happy to add in the blood section. Um, on down is the Blood, the Bloodorama collection. I mean, yeah, yeah, collection which. Has um, Claw of Terror, aka Matthew, aka Amputee with an Axe, which I already have that one, but that one's on a DVD R as well, I think, or it's just on a, a poor man's company who released it. And next one is Black Mamba. Uh, another one is Movie House Massacre, and the last movie on this one is Torture Chamber of Doctor Sadism. So I just I don't know I just always wanted wanted this so blood orama and the last blood title for now is blood I'm, I'm probably gonna say this wrong blood scarab Scar scarab but it's got it's vampires and mummies and stuff so it uh, looks pretty cool I don't know I'm blind buying this is a big blind buy for me but it was on a blood kick uh, I still have uh, a few blood titles left on my wish list to kind of fill in the gaps. Uh, I'm probably one of the one of the two people on Earth that like this movie, so I upgraded, got the Blu-ray for the box. So I found this at Hastings for pretty cheap, I believe. That's where I found it, and this is about to fall over. I'll just set it right there for now. I'm working with one hand, so good thing I got a wall there to hold it. Uh, going on down. I need to hurry. I'm like wasting time. Uh, I already had Burial Ground on DVD, which is a good release, good decent DVD of this movie. But I was curious about for the longest time about the Blu-ray release for it. Um, it's a modest upgrade and I watched it recently and I, I got no problem with this release but if, you know if it gets re-released onto a better better you know blu-ray uh, edition then I'll, I'll go for it as well but I thought it was fine I mean people are saying like something with the sound quality and stuff I couldn't really honestly couldn't really tell um picture picture quality was great so I feel okay with that movie um Somebody was telling me it was cropped a certain way or it didn't look right, but I, I honestly couldn't tell. I mean, it, it looked like with watching the DVD. I don't. So it's burial ground. Uh, coming way down. I think the only update in the C section here is um, the Crazies original. So finally got that in. Mark that off the wish list. The crazies. Um, next is uh, going on down again. 
Anybody getting dizzy yet? I told myself I wouldn't do updates like this ever again, but I don't know. Sometimes I don't know. I guess I don't mind really. Um, Devil Dog, Hound of Hell. Um, totally shocked that this was this got a Blu-ray release. Um, <laughs> but I, I still keep my my DVD because I really love the. Um, that's a good. It's a good release. And but I, I love that cover art better, so I just kind of keep that. I display that one, even though I'll probably never get. Oh, well, I'll just set it right here. No, that's gonna bug me. There we go. Next after Devil Dog, Devil Dog is um, I upgraded uh, Evil Aliens. Love this movie, so I didn't have a I didn't have a problem getting it again. So Evil Aliens. Um. After that, you guys are probably gonna laugh at me because it because I had to have it in high def. I guess is the Faces of Death. So I'm done. I'm done with the Faces stuff. I'm done. I promise. I promise myself. I'm done with the, done with that. Um, I'm down. Forbidden World. Also a reversal cover art. Some more Roger Carmen goodness. Forbidden World. Um, Galaxy of Terror, got that in. I no longer need the step stool, so I am going to move this out there. Okay, Galaxy World. Next would be go uh, Goblin. I got Goblin. Um, I got Goblin. It sounds like a bumper sticker. Um, <laughs> um, I'm I'm already aware that this is probably going to have some really low budget um, CGI involved but I don't care I think the story itself is pretty cool so I, I don't know I was really curious about it and had to check it out so it's Goblin uh, coming on down again is Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer also released by Dark Sky um, does not have reversible cover art but does have Let's see. Where are you going? Did I get by? Yes. Uh, I know. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, let me open this up. Yeah, it's pretty... As far as, like, artwork and stuff, it's pretty bare. So, I mean, if you already have, like, that that edition right there with the first first little cover, I mean, it's loaded with uh, bonus features and stuff, but uh, I haven't popped it in yet as far as, like... Dark Sky does a pretty good job with their DVDs and Blu-ray, so I have faith in them, so I went ahead and got that. Henry, um, The Horde, which is awesome, zombie flick. So The Horde, um, i got to blow through these. Uh, Island of Lost Souls, another Criterion release. I've been curious about this. This is another like horror classic. Never seen it before. Don't know much about it. It's supposedly, I might be wrong on this, was like the original island of Dr. Monroe, Dr. M M M oh, I'm saying that wrong, but anyway, it's that kind of story. Like experimenting with animals and splicing the genes of animal and human, stuff like that. So, Island of Lost Souls. Uh, I got The Living Dead at Manchester, uh, Manchester Moor, aka Let Sleeping Corpses Lie. Um, I have Let's Leave Them Clarkers Lie up here because I like the title and I love the artwork slightly better on this on that release. Uh, next, um, never had this before on VHS or DVD, and that's Magic. So I've never seen it before. Um, I'll be watching this probably this week, so I'm very curious about Magic. So here we go, Magic. Um, don't know anything about it. it. Just has a creepy doll in there, something like that. Uh, coming on down. Uh, mold. Uh, this was this was pretty good. Uh, I told a couple of friends I wish it had a little more goo action, more melt, like body melt action. But what it did have, I did like. That was pretty cool. I liked how it did have a, a guy getting his head bait, like literally like. Like getting his head snapped off, I thought that was cool. Um, 
I thought the special effects was really good and everything. I'll probably be double dipping when they actually get this put out into a DVD instead of the DVD-R. So I, I liked it good enough to 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 want to get it to buy it to buy it again. So mold. Um, uh, mortuary. Finally glad to get rid of my bootleg and and get the real deal here put out by um, Scorpion Releasings, which is they're basically like another code red, but awesome, awesome, awesome. Glad to finally have Mortuary. Pretty cool. Um, uh, come on down. I don't think I skipped anything. No, okay, I did, no, I didn't. Um, Night Train Murders, another Blue Underground Blu-ray release here. Um, glad to get that one. This is a pretty cool flick. I like this movie. Um, uh, hopefully I'm done with that one for now. Um, next up is um, Night Trap. Um, all I know is that Michael Ironside's in it, and I'm not going to lie. The cover art just kind of pulled me in, so I, I've never heard of this movie. It's not familiar to me at all. So that is Night Trap. Watch, I probably actually screwed up and end up being a drama or something. <laughs> I hope not, but I'm going to check that out pretty soon. Uh, there's not, not really any reviews on that on Amazon at all. Uh, finally got the original uh, Phantom of the Opera, so pretty cool. This is definitely a movie I'll probably have playing in the background like around Halloween or something like that. So Phantom of the Opera. Uh, down, nothing down there. Not that I know of. Nope. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, the stepfather, the original stepfather. Can't beat the original, so I'm glad to finally get that. So the stepfather. Um, some more full moon product here. Uh, subspecies. I just <laughs> I love subspecies. So whether this is I don't know if if it's slightly better, then I'm I'm happy. I don't know. I just I like subspecies, and I like the, uh, the artwork, original artwork used for that as well. Um, original uh, Toolbox Murders. Uh, love this movie. It does drag. Like, the beginning is pretty cool, and then it drags, and then it picks up again. I don't know. I love this movie. I even love Toby, Hooper, to Toby Hooper's uh, take on it as well. And I'm looking forward to the newer one. I don't know when that's ever going to get released. But, um, next up is Torso, another sleazy slasher jolly type, um, movie I liked. I used to have this one on VHS as well, but it was the Anchor Bay, uh, VHS release of that one. So, this is probably my fourth time getting this movie. <laughs> so, it's Torso, um, I don't know, I wish it came in yellow, though, because I've seen the other release come out in, with the yellow. I thought that was pretty cool, just like the poster art. Um, I'm getting low. I'm getting low on time here. Uh, Twelve, just another indie slasher. I was curious about, so that's Twelve. Um, Uncle Sam. I bought this multiple times as well. Love Uncle Sam. Um, I love this movie as well. Vacancy, pretty cool. Uh, some more Hammer goodness. Uh, Vampire Circus. I'll be seeing this for the first time. I've never seen it before, but been curious about it. And I'm curious about Twins of Evil, so I'm looking forward to checking that out eventually. So anyway, uh, Vampire Circus, um, nice Criterion release of uh, Videodrome. Um, definitely had to upgrade from the older DVD I've, I've had for uh, years. So Videodrome, very nice. Uh, comes with a nice, um, looks like a beta tape. The cover art does. Um, we're out of time. The original Village of the Damned, double feature with Children of the Damned. I've had the 90s remake forever, and curse me for not having the original but I do I have it now so and last thank God is uh, I'm running out of time is the woman in black uh, a remake I love this movie and I'm looking forward to the sequel I'm, I'm, that, that's all I gotta say I, I love this movie anyway um, I love the ending too it's not a sad ending and it's not a happy ending it's just like it's just right I don't know I love it the woman in black um, that's it uh, as always thanks for watching and Oh, God, that's bad. And uh, take it easy.